Good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson with your top of the morning detailed forecast as I sip on my cup of, you like that? Shovel Trouble Cup? Hey, do you want to know more? Scroll down on the brand new Hutch's Weather app and you're going to find that merchandise you've been asking for. Shop Hutch's gear right here. You can order yours today. Maybe gifts for those tough to buy for people. Your forecast includes a lot of whiplash and all details coming up right now. Now, a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. All right, thanks for joining me. Here's what you need to know as you head out the door. We're having exiting little weather maker here. This is a warm front pushing its way through a band of snow along the international border counties as we went through the overnight. But down in parts of central Minnesota, including the Southern Valley, a few areas of sprinkles and areas of fog possible. But the wind will be picking up. It'll be westerly, northwesterly in Canada, southwesterly here in the valley. And that means our warming trend continues, but it's not going to be as warm as some of the uh, areas to the west of us have been. Heading through the day, the wind does increase. See these isobars getting very strong up in the Devil's Lake Basin? We do have a high wind advisory in places and wind warnings elsewhere as we'll see some showers developing near Miles City and Baker, Montana in the mid-morning hours and into the afternoon. Then, as we head into the uh, late afternoon, we're going to see another batch of northwest winds and cold slosh of air that's going to work its way down, bringing a chance for some snow showers and another batch working its way into the oil patch tonight with scattered showers working their way through the region as well. That'll make for some areas of slippery roads, but remember the temperatures out to the west have been quite warm. Hoo-wee, indeed. But we do have those temperatures that look pretty lovely. Here's what you need to know as you're heading out the door, and then we'll talk a little bit here at the end if you have time about this extended forecast and snow. And you're hearing people throw out the word blizzard. We'll talk about that as well for your day. Get out the door. Temperatures generally in 25 to 30 degrees here in the valley. That is a gradual to steady warm up areas of fog clouds and a few showers with some slick roads with temperatures in the teens and 20s across central and northern parts of Minnesota 30s to 40s out to the far west as we start our day. Now our wind becomes more northwesterly. We're going to see a chance for some flakes as that transition takes place. Winds will be gusting over 40 miles per hour, mainly up in the northern part of the valley and through central parts of North Dakota. And still more of a southwesterly component to the wind. Look at temperatures in central South Dakota. The Badlands indeed soaking up that heat 40s and 50s there. We're going to top out in the 30s. Why? We rarely see the downslope warming reached Fargo and the Red River Valley. And with the thick snow that we have, well, it's going to be a tough call. If we do get the 40 degrees, it will be lucky. A better chance in the uh, Cheyenne and James River Valleys of seeing some low 40s. Now, the seven-day planner shows the changes for our area begin Wednesday. I've got this highlighted in red and the snow plow here. Why? Snow along the international border throughout the day on Wednesday will accumulate. And then it starts sagging southward as we go through the overnight hours. So impacts here in the Red River Valley mainly begin in the overnight hours and then the wind takes hold. As we head into your Thursday... We're talking gusts to 50 miles per hour and even more in places. And because of that, travel trouble indeed. Now, the snow and the wind are not all happening at the exact same time for the duration of the storm event. But let's say there'll be a crossover. So some areas of whiteout will be possible. Do I want to say blizzard? It's just simply way too early to throw that out there. Although those whiteout conditions, uh, snow polishing the road surfaces and zero visibility at times in places is certainly going to be evident. And once we get more detail on the exact setting up of this storm system and its track, I will keep you apprised of the details on that. Those impacts will last through Thursday. They impact the Red River Valley as we go into the morning, and by the end of the day, they'll be shifting off into central and eastern Minnesota. Behind it, very cold air, dangerous wind chill, a little bit of a warm-up on Friday, yielding a few flakes, and then it's back down into the whiplash cold as we head into the late week, and the weekend ahead brings more of the same heading through. Now, that's a fast look at your forecast. Now, some details on that winter weather event. Let's start with a look at the snowfall potential and the wind. This wind is for a snapshot from one model at noon on our Thursday. So most of the snow will have moved off into Minnesota. Now we'll have gusts in the trees in the 30 mile per hour range and gusts in the valley in the 50 mile per hour range and gusts in the central Dakotas, the Devil's Lake Basin, James River Valley in the 60 degree range or 60 mile per hour range, I should say. So very windy with a chance of accumulating snow that from the European model, this is just potential. 
This is too early to get specific about your uh, snowfall amounts. This could shift 50 miles, 70 miles, north or south, weaken, strengthen. Just suffice it to say that we could have measurable snow across portions of the northern Dakotas. This is a uncertainty area. Some models have this sagging a little farther to the south, but I'll keep you up to date with the latest on that. Again, download Hutch's weather app. Thanks for watching and stay up ahead of the storm with me. And thank you for watching and commenting down below. Where are you watching from? And have you checked out my merchandise page yet? Top of the morning to you. This has been a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Wait, you forgot the new app? You're right, I did. Don't forget to download our new app. Thanks for watching Hutch's weather. Come.